Welcome back to One Minute Monday. I hope you're all doing really well. This week we're actually looking at another shelter, but this time it's a brolly system. So brolly systems have gone out of favour over the past couple of years, just simply due to new designs of shelters like the Titan Hides, like the Tracker Tempest, the Fox Frontiers, all those quick erect shelters that pack down into small bags. But brolly systems do still sell and people still prefer that brolly system over that new style shelter. After all, they are very light, you get loads of room inside them. They pack down and set up really quickly as well. And one of those brolly systems for years has been one of the very best in the market, and that was the Witchwood HDR brolly system. It's been around for a long time, been used by loads and loads of anglers, and it's got itself quite a reputation for being one of the very best. Now, which was new take on the HDR brolly system that they used to do is the tactical brolly, and I've got one here in front of me. I'm going to set it up for you so you can see how good it really, really is. So here we go then, this is the Witchwood Tactical Brolly all set up and ready to go. I've actually got the Nash Tackle fourfold, the dwarf one that we did a review on a few weeks ago in here for space and a bit of a comparison for you. But this is it, so this is what you get when you open up your brolly bag. You get the brolly itself, you get two storm poles, you get a packet of pegs as well obviously. You also get two mesh pockets for the back of the umbrella there so you can store your receiver, phone, anything that you don't want on the floor. And you get an extension arm as well which helps you actually set up the brolly here when pushing it to lock it in. And then a little locking cap on the end there so the brolly won't accidentally ping open and close up on you. Now as it stands here there's no pegs set up on this brolly right now as it is because the ground's too hard to put pegs in. Um, so this is completely freestanding and it seems to be all right actually. It's doing a really good job of standing up on its own. Normally brollies have a tendency to collapse if they haven't got a peg or two in but this is doing absolutely fine. There's no wind to the eye, so there's no worry of it being blown away in that sense. Inside you've got loads of room for a compact bed. Now you're not going to get a massive wide bed in here, it is for that single angler. In the back you actually get a bit of a built-in ground sheet that covers up to your bed chair in the rear. That's for putting some of your luggage on so it doesn't get wet. But there is also an optional ground sheet available as well for about 35 quid which is a really nice little touch. To help airflow through your brolly you also get a big mesh window in the back there. It's quite a large mesh window. You can cover it up if the weather's bad and you can obviously have it open like we have today to create that extra airflow through the bivvy to keep you cool. Now the brolly itself doesn't come with any doors as such. They are available separately for around £40, whether you want the mozzie door or you want the fully waterproof door. So next up, we'll get the doors on so you can see what they're like. Just quickly before we get the mozzie door on, I wanted to show you the ground sheet. I've moved the bed chair out of the way for you. The ground sheet toggles in with six toggles. You don't have to peg the ground sheet in separately. Covers up that rear small built-in ground sheet, then goes right up to the front here. Really thick, really good quality, really heavy duty. So here we are with the mozzie door all fully secured on with the one piece zip that goes all the way around the hood. Nice thing about this mozzie panel is the door itself can be opened up to a letterbox style door or it can be fully opened all the way up. And with it being a really small pack down size and very light it's always handy just to keep it in the brolly bag just in case it's a bit too warm for the full waterproof panel but there's a few mozzies about and you need a little bit of cover. So next up we'll get the waterproof door on and have a look at that one. And here we are with the waterproof door on. Very simple waterproof door, there's no mozzie windows on the side. Just simply a full waterproof panel with a waterproof door as well that you can have open letterbox style or fully open. Nice and lightweight, just simply does the job that you need it to do. If it's raining outside, if it's a bit windy or whatever purpose you want to be enclosed inside your shelter. Again, it goes on with that single one piece zip that zips all the way around. So it's really easy to change out with the mozzie door if you want to. There's a couple of pegging points along the front that also match up with the pegging points on the ground sheet if you've got the ground sheet in. And it carries on the same color style as the rest of the shelter as well. That sort of DPM camo with the green, which is a really nice little touch. So there you have it, the Witchwood Tactical Brolly and all of its accessories. A great, great brolly system if you don't want that new age shelter and you want to fish with a brolly still to keep all of your options open, whether it be on the canal or on a little day ticket water somewhere or wherever it is, it's a really good option to look at. Brolly itself comes in at just under 200 quid. And then like I said, the options before with the ground sheet, the mozzie door and a full waterproof door start at 35 quid. So you're covered for every scenario that we'll ever need.
as usual they're in stock in store and on the website phone up the store if you've got some more questions but that's it for this one thank you all for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video